guys, my name is Zik, and welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II video. So for today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the epic variant for the Lee Enfield, the Roundabout. So I'm going to talk about how it looks, how it performs in multiplayer and zombies, and how its perks perform in multiplayer and zombies, if it has any, as well as how to get this variant and is it worth using or getting. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the Lee Enfield Roundabout, I really, really like this epic variant for the Lee Enfield. And I'm really curious on how its heroic predecessor looks. I really like how this variant makes the Lee Enfield tiny. Like it's kind of it's kind of weird. It feels weird if you're a sniper and you get this variant, but after using it for a while, you'll get used to it. But overall, this variant is just really nice looking. I don't know why. It looks really nice to me, but it just it goes with that World War II vibe. Like this is a gun that literally screams out World War II. I don't know, just something about this variant that I really, really like. So the only way to get this variant is through the Quartermaster Collection, and it costs a lot of army credits. So here's its collection. First you have is its epic, Calgary Highlanders. It costs 8,900 armor credits. Then you have its two legendaries, Ear to Ear and Headshots. Ear to Ear costs 1,825 armor credits, and Headshot costs 1,025 armor credits. Then you have its two rares, Hotshots and Cheers Mate. Hotshot costs 275 armor credits, and Cheers Mate costs 225 armor credits. And then last but not least, you have its two commons. Tea break and for the queen they both cost 175 armor credits so in total this variant costs 12,600 armory credits if you get it via just armor credits meaning you aren't lucky in supply drops so that is a lot of credits so with that variant being so expensive how does it perform so first off it does have a multiplayer and zombies perk let's talk about its multiplayer perk so its multiplayer perk is 10 percent extra xp it's not that big of a difference but it is extra xp so why not use it and if you love using snipers i really recommend using this variant for the lee enfield if you love using the lee enfield it performs like the normal lee enfield you are going to get hit markers below the belt but you are going to get one shot kills from the chest up the only thing that i have off with this variant in multiplayer is it feels really weird when you first start using it so you're not going to be so good at it when you first start using it but after a while you're going to get super good with it and it's a tiny gun so when you're in a corner nobody's going to see that gun sticking out like nobody so if you love using the lee enfield and you actually get its most expensive parts for its collection for free via supply drops then i recommend going for it for its multiplayer part but how does it perform in zombies so it does have a zombies perk and it's called one shot one kill so what this perk does is when you get a one shot kill with this gun you get extra jolts and it's not that big of a difference with the jolts you only get 20 plus extra points if you one shot a zombie if you don't one shot a zombie then it's not going to give you the extra points but I think one shot one kills of snipers is 100 points, correct me that if I'm wrong, but when I was playing it, I got 120 every single time, and then when I used another sniper and sniped, I got 100 points, so from the looks of it, it only gives you 20 plus extra jolts. When you think about it, when you melee a zombie, you get 130 jolts in total, so you're basically only getting 10 less jolts from meleeing a zombie so you're basically meleeing a zombie every single time you use this variant and get a one shot kill so you're gonna rack up points like nothing while using this variant so this variant is really worthwhile because of that zombies perk in zombies but it performs like the normal lee enfield in zombies it's nothing different it's nothing huge just that zombies perk makes it where you're gonna get a ton of jolts if you keep getting one shot kills with this gun so overall is this variant worth using Yes, if you love sniping a multiplayer, and yes, in zombies, if you want that extra jolts. Now, is it worth getting? I recommend getting it only if you have the most expensive parts to its collection done for free and supply drops. I totally do not recommend spending 12,600 armor credits on this variant and load. It's totally not worth that much, but if you do get its epic and its collection done via supply drops for free, then go for it. It's really worth it after that. But that was basically pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys did like this, drop a like because it helps me out a ton. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more music content because every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Also, I will pop a card to this series' playlist. It is called Is This Variant Worth It? I'll pop it right about now. And I'll put it in the description below if you want to check it out for this video. I've done the Red Baron, the Wilco, the Serum, and there's a ton more that are coming in the near future. 
there are going to be epic variants and heroic variants. My plan is to get at least every single variant done before World War II is completely done in its COD cycle. But again, that was basically pretty much it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So, peace, guys.